So what's up everyone? It is your girl Jeff VD7 here, aka Grace Honey. And today we're gonna get into this new Tom Ford Architect Soft Matte Blurring Foundation. I believe this is what it's called. Soft, yeah, soft matte blurring foundation. I have the shade 10 chestnut. Y'all know I live sir chestnut Jesus. Y'all know I live for this foundation. I live for it, honey. Live, 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 live. So I definitely had to pick this up when I saw it. Y'all saw me read all the claims about it. I was just super excited to get my possession to try it on my face. I had tracked me to go to today. So I figured it'd be a good time to give y'all a wear test, especially since I'd actually be out in the elements for once. I'm usually just at work running around. So I was like, let me get out in the elements and talk to these people about what's going on with my face. But yeah, so I, um, as you can see, I have these colors on my eyes and my son's team's colors. So I decided to, you know, do my team spirit and have the colors of the mustangs on my eyes so that's what's going on here i use the adept cosmetics line fiddler palette so let me zoom in real quick let me put on this foundation girl so i put two pumps on my hand and the camera started acting weird so i have two pumps on here i feel like we're gonna have to do a third one though just because based upon the experience with tom ford foundation i usually have to do three pumps with them as opposed to two so let's just go ahead and put it on on i use the pore eclipse mattifying primer from it milk makeup just because I was like I know I have to go outside in the elements and it's actually what's warm outside today like Chicago thought it was actually supposed to have spring and Chicago doesn't have spring as a general rule like so I was just shocked that we got any spring weather so I was like oh yes let me take full advantage and wear this foundation out in the elements so let me give you a little brush Well, can I just look like it's nice and smoothing and blurring? Y'all see? See how blurry my face looks right now? Girl, compared to what we have fully blended out here, honey, I feel like I look blended and it's lovely. Like, yes. <coughs> yes, yes. I'm so here. Look at y'all. I feel like I look blurry, like a filter. It's creepy. I'm like, okay. But I mean, like, for this price one, honey, you need to be giving something. I just. Playing these types again. I'm gonna try a couple other things in this video with you all. I figured it was okay to try the blush from um, House Labs, even though that's not what I actually wore in the wear test, just because y'all know um, I already have some older blushes from them. So I'm just basically trying to see if the form is the same and give you all an idea of what this new color would look like on some of my skin tone. So that's the point of me trying Fire Moon in this video. But otherwise, I'm gonna give y'all a normal wear test. But since it's a product I tried before, I figured it's okay to just squeeze it in. That's what we're gonna do. In the other part of the video, I actually have on the shawl that's killing the body. That Hollywood Flawless um, Dual Set they came up with the blush and highlighter for the holidays. I just went ahead and put that on. That's usually my go-to when I don't know what to wear. But I feel like it's a good similar tone to the blush that I'm about to put on now. Which is um, Fire Moon from House Labs. So yeah, this is cute. But I want to see if we can build it up on the cheeks. That's usually why I end up putting a third pump on. So I just get one more pump on my hand. I'm gonna work it on out. I'm gonna use the Say Concealer in this video again too. I know I ended up buying the um, one from Cali Ray, but I'm like, I'm trying to use, I'm trying to get a better feel for the Say one and be able for you all to see it on its own, not me comparing it to the other Say one because I did that in another video. So I'm trying to, you know, not do that. I'll just put it on the sides here. Why not? Girl, I don't. But yeah, so I had fun going to track me and not having to go to work today and then sitting and hanging out with you all so that's what my night pretty much has consisted of so far i had to go pick up someone dinner afterwards because Mima had to sit out in the um cold for like three hours for this track me so she was not trying to feel like cooking anything she was like i'm going in the house and we're gonna leave my blanket so i was like okay say that and everybody's tired of pot rolls because we've been eating pot rolls the last like i think three or four days since she cooked it so i'm like yeah we're gonna try the pot roll so let's just go get something else today i usually would have went and got tacos because it's taco tuesday and i would have got 50 percent off like my tacos at the place by my job but since i didn't go to work i was like i'm just gonna you know eat this and that's fine so yeah but y'all look at my face like it's yes it's giving blurred it's definitely getting blurred and I'm definitely like full on impressed with it. Like look at my face. You, you, those dark spots, I feel like you normally see, you don't. I feel like a little bit over here you see more than you do on this side, but I'm feeling like it looks very nice, but you don't have dark 
spots and those issues that I have, I feel like two pumps would be fine for you. You'd be out here full coverage, flawless glamorous. But I don't, I, I don't have that type of skin, so we don't have those options. So I have the shade 14 in the Say Concealer. I'm going to go ahead and put that on there. But y'all, it was nice having a day off work. Ran me middle weekend and I still give my normal two days off, so I'm excited. So, I'm like, we'll see. Because I got a few more dates to go on, so I'm like, I need to put in absences for my oop. Well, I was going to put concealer on my nails anyway, but I'm like, for my other days, I had I need off. Because there's still more games coming, and I used to all my sick time for the game. So, I'm just like, okay. I'm like, I got vacation time, but I want to use it on that. So, I'm going to use vacation time on the ones that are like back-to-back. And since it's only one more month left, I said I shouldn't have to use any more time. So, I'm like, I should be good. Don't look ridiculous. Looks ridiculous. But yeah. Anywho. So, I didn't put any cream bronzer on today. So, we're just going to hack through here. I use the Sigma Beauty Bronzer. Their anniversary sale is coming up soon. And I will be doing a recommendation video probably... Uh, showing you a fruit of products and wearing them on my face as well. We'll have to see. But, you know, I... Even if I don't, like, show you the products and we put them on or whatever, y'all know I use a lot of their products. Like, I love the undercover eye powder that they have. I like to use that a lot. I think it's called Soft Focus or something like that. That stuff is amazing. I use their bronzer quite frequently because I'm obsessed with it. So, I like me a lot of these same things. I'm excited about the new eyeshadow palette they have coming out too, y'all. I'm just like, yeah. Wait till it drops. I need to get my hands on it. I will not be hesitating to do so. Like I, I need that palette. Oh yes, y'all. This concealer with this like foundation is just giving everything. We'll see how many looks I get, honey. We'll see. Cause it's skin it's looking flawless. Yes, it's looking flawless. And we haven't even like set everything with powder or anything and we looking flawless. Now in that video I have on the Laura Mercier powder on my face, the original one in medium deep, and then I have on the um Moon of Beauty powder underneath the eyes. But for this part, I'm showing you we're gonna set it with Laura Mercier underneath the eyes and transfer it to honey and then we're gonna set the face with um what is this? I have the medium, I think it's tan, the tan deep or medium deep powder from Mesa Beauty. I don't know what's going on with them. They made my favorite powder and my favorite foundation stick. And then they came out with my favorite concealer. And it's like nobody's heard anything from them. I'm like, what are y'all doing over there? Y'all got me scared. You know, they, they got me scared that they're now coming back. And I can't be, I can't take that. I'm going to need, I'm gonna need them to come back. Oh, y'all, I'm looking so flawless and nice. And we're we not even done yet, girl. Girl. You know, trying to get a um puff, or whatever, find a puff. I should have used that new beauty blender puff that I um got during 21 Days of Beauty at um well not 21 Days of Beauty but the sales that they have in Sephora every day to combat the sales that you know also was having. I should have bought. I should have used that. I don't think it's in here though. I think it's in the bathroom and that's why because I didn't grab it. I'm have to go in the bathroom to grab my bronzer and stuff and I'm gonna just do the bronzer off camera. But I think I set my face on camera since we're trying out the foundation and concealer on camera. So that's why I'm sitting here doing this. But yeah, like girl, I am loving the way this is looking so far. I'm talking about I feel like I look flawless, immaculate. What you will not tell me is the beat does not look right. The beat looks right. Okay. Y'all, I mean seriously, I feel like my under eye and everything looks blocked. Uh -huh. blurred and flawless and I I usually don't feel like that I feel like like oh it looks okay or it looks cute or whatever but I'm like no I feel like I didn't stepped it up and I'm really out here just looking like I know what I'm doing and I'm you know out here doing big things like cash and big checks all type of stuff is how I'm feeling like this look okay y'all so I bought some more bougie expensive candles I know who am I because Celia yeah, like you're burning money like you're literally burning money but I found this brand I have been seeing a whole bunch of other people with that I have been wanting to try for a while and it was on sale and it was their newest collection so I was like we're gonna go ahead and buy the bullet y'all always think we a millionaire you see my face girl look how flawless that looks like I said we're not even done yet and look how flawless it looks like 
I feel like I found like my favorite foundation of 2020 for right now already and it's only like April but like look tell me my face doesn't look blurred and flawless and amazing because if you do no one's listening you're lying please leave a message at the tone I don't care what you have to say like y'all say this face on the flaws and we haven't sprayed it down or set it down with um and it hasn't warmed to the skin yet or anything but it's just I feel like the base just looks amazing like honey my base looks amazing I don't but I don't know about you Girl, but the base is giving. It's amazing. And I am so happy I bought this foundation. Now, I'm not happy that I couldn't get a discount because base is only gonna have one shade. But, you know, so far she's looking like she's worth it. We'll see how she lasts throughout the day. But I'm gonna go and put on the bronzer I told y'all about. I'll come back and do the blush with you all. Matter of fact, I'll put the bronzer and highlighter on off camera because I don't have a new highlighter to show you. I'm not gonna use the Fenty one because I want to compare it to the ones in the, um... What, in the um, hourglass palette so I'm going to do that and then I will come back and I got some lip products to try too because we finally going to try out these half magic ones okay we finally going to get a first impression on these I've been trying to put them on for a while but I just anyway I'll be right back on okay so let's get into this blush so this is it right here fire rose like I showed you all in the haul it is so much tinier than the original one um I heard it's half the product so mm -hmm. but let's dip into her and see how she looks on the skin it's my first time trying this color I'm sure it's the same formula as before so I'm assuming it's not gonna be an issue with that it's definitely one of those you have to build up I did put my highlighter on like I told y'all save some time along with my bronzer from what do you call it uh Sigma I love their bronze. I wear the shade deep, so I wear the deepest one they have. They have one in dark. That one usually works better for a girl Dion loves makeup. So if you are Dion skin tone, I would advise you to get the shade dark. They sent me the shade dark and deep because they weren't sure which shade I needed. I feel like maybe I could pull off dark in the um wintertime, but I don't know that I would necessarily try to. And if I did, I feel like I still had to put like a cream bronze underneath it. So I, that's why I just gave it away to Dion because I was like, I can't use it. So, you know, it's better to do that. Ooh, yes, I like this color. I love these type of colors when it's like I don't know what to put on. So I'm just, you know, put on a color that matches closely to my skin tone because I'm like, I don't know what else to do. But yes, yeah, so I sprayed my face once already just to kind of set down the powder so you get a better idea of what the face looks like and what she's giving. I have on the heart shape ColourPop highlighter i don't remember the name of it so sorry about that but i have that one on to show you and now we're gonna get into these half magic lipsticks so i've been trying to try these forever now i don't know that i'm gonna give you a wear test on them because i was actually drinking a milkshake while i'm filming this video so it's like when i get done i'm just gonna go drink my milkshake so it's probably not gonna last that long but i'm giving my first impression on the formula and all that right now so let's do that Like a little moosey if you will but it's not like super moosey if that makes sense it kind of has like that fluffy airy um feel to when you first put it on i like this tone i figured i would though so definitely glass on easing it's nice formula to apply so it's not like it's gonna feel uncomfortable on the lips I can tell now that's gonna be a nice comfortable formula just by the feel of it so I'm liking it so far let me swatch my back of my hands so you can see what it looks like my bad but I don't know if y'all gonna see it's like that velvety um cushiony consistency to a liquid lipstick like can you see until it's like more of that velvety feel to the product it's just a nice simple shade i think it's called miss cheeky or something like that sorry mr cheeky pants that's what it's called mr cheeky pants and then the gloss is called frosty bitch so 
we're gonna put this gloss on let me swatch it back with my hand as well it's just like a simple sparkly gloss i don't know if it's gonna add a whole bunch of like color if anything i feel like it just has a lot of extra sparkle on it but i feel like it'd be something extra and nice to add to the lip and give a little reflective moment i didn't know these were gonna be more like the fenty velvets as far as like when you put them on lips you can still feel it you can tell it's like that set nest formula that doesn't fully dry down if you will so yeah be aware that's gonna be one of those satiny ones that doesn't dry down a lot or completely i don't like how many times you have to dip in to get product out I feel like hardly anything comes up on this, so it's like maybe they need to make it a little bit wider so that more product will come out. Because y'all see, I've dipped in like two or three times, and I feel like I hardly got anything on my lips, so I'm not a fan of that. Reminds me of the LYS concealer with super tiny, like you know, opening to it. That's very much what it's giving. So, so we're working with. I'm a little disappointed about the gloss. I guess I expected it to do more. Maybe put it on top of a lip liner and then put it on. But I don't know. It's just... Let me come close. Wait. It's just not giving the reflectiveness and extraness I thought it was going to give. It's kind of dull. But in all fairness, I put it on top of a lipstick. Hoping it would give it like some little extra reflectiveness. And it's not. It might do better on its own. Or if you just put a lip liner on and then put this on. But so far, I like the formula of... The lipstick better than I do the lip gloss. It's not like the gritty gloss though, where it's like gritty and you can feel the glitter of in the lipstick or the lip gloss on your lips. So that's a good thing. But I'm was hoping these would like set down a little bit more. They're giving more of the velvet lipstick from Fenty or like the Dose of Clothes lipsticks, but they don't fully sit down and it's gonna like move around. It doesn't um move around. It doesn't wear off terribly like the Dose of Colors one and the Fenty ones, but. That's definitely the formula it's giving me. So if you like those formulas, I feel like you will like this. But um, just make sure you remember that you need to like pack it with you because it's not like the matte ones from Huda and like other people where it's going to sit on the lips and it's going to stay. It's not going to move. It, it's not giving that at all. So just FYI for anyone who cares. But this is the way the face is finishing off with. I feel like I still like the blushes just like before. I feel like with this one though, I would pair it with the one I talked about I actually used in the demo, which I'm not the demo, in the um, wear test, which is the um, one from Charles to Tilbury. That one is made for tan and the deep though, so it is a little bit deeper. I feel like this one is made more for like medium to tan and that might be why it's not working perfectly on me. I mean, you can clearly see it, it looks nice. It just looks like, you know, those blushes that are like your cheek color, but better when you don't know what to put on or you wanna get that natural, like soft girl or um what do they call it clean girl aesthetic i feel like this would be your type of blush but i'm gonna just put it with another blush because i want a little bit more impactful pigmentation that i feel like it's not giving but that's pretty much all i had to say about all this stuff on my face as far as first impressions go i will talk to you later on tonight girl after this whole game situation okay talk to you later bye i've returned after many hours wear and as you saw from one of the clips i think i included in here me at adrian game over track me because that's where they got to see this be. If you're curious what's on my eyes, I just threw on the, what is it, Flying Fiddlers palette or Flying Fiddles palette from Adept Cosmetics. And that's what we're working with when it comes to this eye look. The lips are still the hood of lip glosses that I've been showing y'all before. So that's what I'm working out with. But yeah, honey, the beat was giving. I was living. I was getting the look. So the beat must have been doing something, okay? I had my sunglasses on because it was sunny outside when I was at Adrian Game Over Track Me. But honey, the beat was giving because the girls were looking at the beat. So what are we thinking about the beat now? I've had it on since, I want to say like 3.30 and it's like 8.30. So I had it on for about like five, six hours mark. So I must say I'm very impressed considering I sat outside for like a good long while and we're not having a lot of oil going on. So I must say I'm very impressed with it. I'll give y'all an update of a full eight hour wear test, but I want to get this wear test out of the way. And I must say, I'm very impressed. I felt like I looked blurred right after I put it on. I was up in the mirror like, ooh, okay, ho, ho, hmm. Now, I did use three pumps. I normally do two and then, like, see what I have to work from. So, I do feel like you have to build it up to get to full coverage. But once I get there, honey, she's cute. And I'm liking this say, um concealer a whole lot more than I usually do. So, I must say, I'm really impressed with everything that's going on with the face and i knew tom wasn't gonna let me down when he came to the foundation now he might let me down with some other stuff like them eyeshadows and you know his lip 
products I'm not that crazy about, unlike other people. So he lets me down those areas, but I know complexion Thomas is not going to let me down. Tom going to be on it, and it's going to be fire. So y'all can come down below and tell me what you think. But remember, I wear shade ten chestnut. I am extremely impressed with this foundation i'm living for it it's a vibe i love it i recommend if it comes to Sephora or if you can get it on sale to get it y'all know i'm not gonna tell you about getting a 150 dollars foundation girl i don't care how nice and blurry it looks it's not giving 150 dollars worth of foundation to me because i have other foundations i feel like blur nicely too and you know i, I didn't pay 150 dollars so i like it if you can catch it on a Bloomingdale sale or a Macy sale or a Bird of Goodman sale, you know, when they had the beauty sales for 15% off. Luxury makeup, I'd say buy it then, but I'm not going to tell you go out and buy this at regular price. Because, honey, outrageous. But am I going to use this since I have it at regular price? Yes. Yes, I am. Because it's fine. But <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed this video. Remember you all the dimes. Make sure you subscribe. My membership's down below if you're interested. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. You blessed, girl. Bye.